everybody Ann here just sitting here on my porch thinking about my dad and today is Father's Day so this video is going to be for my dad. My dad spent his career as an aerospace engineer for NASA. He was a flight test engineer out at Edwards Air Force Base in California and then he was the project manager for the X-29A in Ohio, um, Wright Pat Air Force Base. He worked on some pretty amazing projects. Chances are if you go to an Air Force Museum and you look around at some of the aircraft there, you may see one of his projects. My dad's such a good looking guy. Just look at him. He kind of reminds me of Burt Reynolds, doesn't he? Here he is with his mom back when she was alive. And look at those dimples. I kind of like resemble her in a way. But you know what? Always a good looking guy. Always stayed in shape and just a all around general wonderful human being. As I said earlier, my dad always stayed in really good shape. He was always very active in sporting activities such as running, uh, you know, like 10K or 5K races. Here he is running with my brother. Gosh, so, so long ago back in California. And uh, he played racquetball and did a number of other things, you know, snow skiing, everything. My dad just was a real sportsman and he just loved to keep busy and stay in shape. And adventurous too. Just look at him. He's having a great time. And he is the best skier. I tell you what, I would pull him behind me in one of his boats and he would just get up on a slalom ski when I would, you know, be struggling to try and get up on two skis. He'd pop right up and he would be gracefully just skiing through the water, bending over, leaning over really far and getting really fancy and everything. Yeah, pretty cool guy. Just love him, love him to death. And he likes to make beer. He and mom make beer together. And I tell you what, his beer tastes really, really good. He brought some down when he came down uh, recently. And I even took a bottle over to Mr. Lucas and let Mr. Lucas try it out. And he said, that's good beer. He said he thought it tasted just as good as his Budweiser. So that is pretty cool. And boy, oh boy, he could fish circles around anyone. I remember growing up as a little girl, he would take me out to the Fin and Feather Club and early in the morning, so, so early in the morning, and we would stop by the bait and tackle shop and we would get beef jerky and I would bring hot chocolate and he'd bring his coffee and sometimes he'd put a little tiny bit of brandy in my hot chocolate and so I thought I was you know like a big girl I'm having booze it was so much fun and here he is at his house in Tennessee when they used to have the house on the lake and he caught another big one there there's his beloved puppy who's no longer with us. That was a beautiful, beautiful dog. And their house out there was so beautiful. I just have such good memories of going out and fishing right off that dock and, caching, and catching tons and tons of fish. And he had a good sense of humor too. Here he is on, the, on a cancer walk for my sister. She's in the middle there. Uh, she died of metastatic breast cancer a year ago this past March. But you know, he puts on the shirt too. Cindy's pink bra brigade. Yep, and that's how he walked the walk with his shirt on too, with a bra and everything. He's a good sport. And unfortunately, he has lost two of his children, his oldest daughter and his only son, the youngest child. And here he is putting up a little memorial on the tree where my my brother took his last breath. And there's not a lot of times in my life where I've seen my I've seen my father cry. Well, these were this was one of those moments. But he always maintained grace and composure, even in the most difficult of circumstances. He used to say about my brother that you know what, Doug made everything fun. Well, Dad, you made everything fun. Something as simple as going out to eat at a fast food restaurant was always such a pleasure. You're such a good sport and just fun to sit around and hang out with and talk to. Just a really great guy. And talk about a sense of humor. Oh my goodness, here they are, Mom and Dad dressed up for Halloween as the Duck Dynasty guys and just look how adorable they are. I'm surprised my mom did this too. I don't know if it was my mom's idea or my dad's idea but I just thought that this was just a really fantastic photo of the two of them together. Yeah that was pretty cool. 
And he cleans up really well, too. Here he is with my mom and my older sister, Cindy. And uh, he just looks really, really handsome. So does my mom. My mom looks pretty in that picture, too. And who is that guy off to the left? Kind of looks like Donald Trump. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. They hobnobbed with some pretty important people. And again, just such a good sport. And he was always smiling, that beautiful smile. And I don't know. It was just... Just going out and being around him always turned into a wonderful, very special event. He said as a kid there were some things he wanted to do in life. He wanted to own a boat, he wanted to live on a lake, he wanted to drive a fire truck, he wanted to work on a railroad, he did all of those things. And here he is driving in his boat on, on the lake back in Tennessee, uh, Lake Teleco, I think it was, yeah, uh, Teleco Village. So he was able to do all of those things and he was always very adventurous and you know what he just set his mind to something and he accomplished it here he is getting ready to fly a plane he was either building them testing them or flying them truly an amazing guy and here he is standing outside that airplane he just flew look at that look at that alpha male stance yeah you're the man dad after he retired from nasa he worked for another private industry um, aerospace technology company and then he started working he went to school he went back to school after he retired twice and went to school to be a first responder and an ambulance driver and a um, he drove the fire truck for his village so he got to do all those things I went to visit one time and I got to wear the big fireman's hat and he actually was able to take the fire truck out for a little spin <laughs> around the village and he got to drive it and it was so cool sitting next to him and and knowing that he helped people put out fires he would be the first one on a scene if something had happened to one of his neighbors um, and he would have to do all the things like a nurse would do you know start the IV if you have to do CPR you gotta do CPR all of that kind of stuff so He's done such amazing things, and he's one of the reasons that I want to live this life that I am right now, because some of the fondest memories that I had as a little girl growing up was going camping with my dad. You know, the whole family, he'd take us out, and we'd go camping, and we'd be roughing it, and it was just, it was just such good memories. So, doing this, living like I am right now, it feels like I'm camping out every single day of my life and it feels like I'm kind of with dad every single every single day too. And so you know what dad, I love you. You're a great dad and you've done some amazing things in your life and I'm so proud and honored to be able to say that I'm your daughter. I love you dad. Happy Father's Day. I hope you do something amazing. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.